Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I wanted to take the time to talk about the subject of flex rating in more depth. That just sort of go over the pros, the cons, and whether or not it will be a good fit here in Classic WoW. And obviously, this is going to be heavily opinionated, but I have done a lot of retail and I have done a lot of Classic and seen both systems working at their fullest potential. And so this is just sort of my list of things. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I am going to switch it over here to the tweet that sort of started this all. I covered this yesterday as well, but it says, Thank you everyone for the feedback and interest in what has been called variable size rating in Season of Discovery. The bug that allowed more than 20 players to access individual instances of Molten Core at launch resulted in an unintended design and technical consequence that needed to be Fixed. That being said, we are pleased with how the system is playing out in the Onyxia, Kazakh, and Azur Ghost encounters and are excited to find more ways to continue incorporating this system into more raids in future phases of Season of Discovery. Thank you again for your feedback on this. I read some of the comments, they haven't really changed too much, um, so I figured, I figured I'd be a little, you know, uh, sarcastic and say, can we have a 500 man AQ please, it'd be epic and fun. Just obviously a joke um, going off of what other people were saying with this because there are uh, a lot of people that are in these in the comment section just sort of uh, tweeting some stuff that has nothing to do with this like classic fresh nerf shamans so on and so I just figured I'd be a little funny with that tweet but anyway when we talk about flex rating and sort of what we want from it and what we have seen it in retail Wow um, there are some pros and cons to it. So first off the cons of it are the scaling doesn't always work right. I remember distinctly there are a few fights that you do throughout the um, throughout you know wad and legion that it just was better to have more people like you would just fill your 10 man raid with 25 people blast furnace and warlords of draenor comes to mind specifically and there's just fights where it's just easier with more people more healers just sort of dispersing the load out instead of you know being able to do it with your small tidman group of friends and so with that i think it allows for stuff to be very cheesed or you can get extremely punished really easily and trying to do those fights but so like if you're doing a fight that is better on 25 men doing it with 10 players can really really feel bad especially if you are just getting punished and your friend just dms he's like yeah man just get 15 more people and we'll go uh easily one shot this boss and can feel really discouraging and just feel bad for the game to be designed in that manner then i personally think that flex rating really lowers player values and the sense of community that comes with it all. And what I mean by that is when you can just very easily take another person in and it doesn't uh, really hurt the raid or hinder it, like in a perfect system going from 10 to 11 people shouldn't break the game your friend wants to come heck yeah get them in here but it also diminishes how special you are as a member in a guild and on a raid team now this opinion is very classic uh, centric obviously but like when we lose like a healer i have to spend hours trying to find a healer to replace them and i just do not want to have that type of uh interaction and have that struggle to get a player like that because it can be very uh it can like be very detrimental and it makes that healer role very special for your guild and it makes them feel like that they are wanted desired needed and that's a great feeling for any wow player to have um the next one is going to be talking about the pros for flex rating so one of the biggest pros is you can have an active bench that you can use and manage and those players can get valuable experience whether or not you do an active raid or like someone has work 
conflicts that they have to rearrange their schedule for and maybe they can only make it to like every other raid well like they might be good enough to be on your main raid your main raid team but sometimes it would you know interfere and there's just a lot of flexibility so instead of having to be ruthless and just kick them you can bring them into your raid you can bring them into your guild and you can get them very valuable experience i think the best way to become a better raider is just by simply playing the game and doing the raids and so with that it, it it helps a lot and you don't have to be ruthless and be like we are hard 20 men roster anyone else can't come because i've had my own issues with recruitment and that when people have had last minute call outs um and stuff like that so it just can be very very uh you know nuanced and it can uh be a problem but with flex rating that problem goes away very quickly and then also subbing in and out is so very easy um because of flex like you can bring your friends your friends can come you can just have the next person and so on and it doesn't really impact the raid team at all it really only matters if you have that core set raid and we see that with um mythic raiding and stuff like that it can be very uh you know min maxi and demanding however with other like heroic normal raids in retail is subbing in and out is so easy and not very detrimental to the raid then the best one is the adjusted loot system so i learned this in dragonflight that like if you had 13 members you only got three pieces of loot but if you got that 14th member you can get that fourth piece of loot so like just one extra person will give you more loot and so fitting that threshold finding where that is and you know bringing that extra person especially if you're able to carry them just for an extra piece of loot can be amazing as far as getting people the gear they need building uh that sort of uh you know loot system because so there are people who just simply raid for loot and only care about loot not so much the community um and so i can see where like having more loot could be more beneficial just look at molten core with heat one and heat two it has definitely changed it all and allowed people to uh you know get more loot and people are pushing heat two people are pushing heat three people that normally just wouldn't even be doing them are pushing it just for that one extra piece of loot that's literally all you get is an extra piece for each level of heat so if you're pushing your raid you're pushing your group more loot more people get to look at full epic and be shiny um flex rating could be a nice uh thing to bring instead of having to do an entirely whole difficulty system to do it while i have enjoyed the heat system not everyone enjoys it being built based off of fr and sort of that but i think it's pretty awesome for classic and everything that they've done with it an innovative idea and this is definitely the place to give it a whirl and try so that's really cool to see that but anyway guys that's it for this video i really would love to hear what you think about flex rating do you like the heat system in molten core do you like their attempt at it um i think they've done really good here in sod but i'd love to hear if you guys want to see flex rating for maybe bwl or something in the future i don't see any harm in trying it that's for sure um it's sod it's seasonal it's supposed to be that experimental server and i'd rather do it here than them just throw it into a, a true classic plus if that is the true end game of season of discovery so anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments down below i would love to hear what you have to say but until next time i'll see you later hope you have a great day Bye bye hey you yes you are you still there well I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.